My name is Michael Rogerson and I'm the Postgraduate Marketing Officer. Um, I'm here today in the Brigantia building which is the School of Psychology's research hub with Professor Guillaume Thierry. Um, hi Guillaume. Hi. So Guillaume, um, what part do you believe that postgraduate study plays in the evolution of students to independent researchers? I think that postgraduate studies are uh, the most important part of the development path of a student. I mean, arguably, you know, there is, this is the most important experience you can have during a, a lifetime. It's perhaps more than just a student experience, I think, because it will shape um, people's uh, experience of, of the world. You know, they're going to learn things about how to live in society. They're going to learn how to reason, to organize their lives, really. So it's far more than, than a, a student experience, uh, per se. Until the undergraduate level, if you want, um, for me, uh, a student is learning more passively. I mean, in theory, they're supposed to learn more actively, but um, the fact is, the reality is that students, undergraduate students, um, learn what they're told. You know, we show them things and they, they, um, they, they take them on, they, they learn them they memorize them, they try to analyze them and, and, and uh, sort of synthesize them. But uh, what's missing often, and even though we are working hard on trying to develop that in undergrad students, is their critical mind, applying their critical mind, being able to, to judge other people's work, um, to be able to uh, reason by themselves and make decisions uh, that are important to orient their research or their progression. And that's something that undergrad students are, are kind of really struggling to find. When they do find it during their undergrad students, uh, studies, they, they end up being generally the, the most brilliant students. Uh, but the uh, postgraduate studies are the opportunities to develop that skill, all these this set of skills, and to really become um, sort of like, um, if you want, an achieved uh, individual, somebody who can go on in, in, in society and, and work by themselves uh, in a complete autonomous fashion, take the lead essentially of their own life. And it's, I think it's, it's very important to understand that even if, even if you don't, if you're not destined to a research career, if you don't want to become a, a researcher or a scientist or a scholar or whatever, you um, acquiring those skills that you acquire during a postgraduate studies is fundamental for you know everyday life in on you know on the market out there. What is it that you feel about the study environment at Bangor that's particularly suited to the development of uh, postgraduate research students? Bangor is uh, a very special place in many many ways. I think one of the characteristics of Bangor is that it's a small town, and. Um, because that can be, that cannot be ignored. You know, it's, it's not like a huge, uh, you know, city, even though it's called a city officially. And uh, and I think that that has a huge advantage uh, because if you look around across the world at places that are very um, sort of imposing, wonderful places for for studies uh, in the world, they often happen to be in fairly small places. I mean, I don't know how Harvard, how, how big Harvard is, but I, I know that Oxford and Cambridge, for example, are pretty small, if you think about it. They're not huge towns. Um, and, and that creates a community in which the students have got center stage. I mean, there is a very strong academic community around them, but it's not like having a huge city, if you want. And I think it's far more difficult to achieve that, this kind of campus spirit um, in a big city. And, uh, and I think there's been so many op occasions in which actually universities have failed to produce a campus-like spirit. Now Bangor, uh, even though it's in a kind of an unlikely place, in, in an unlikely place, has developed that, that spirit of campus. Uh, and it's, it's fused with, with the town as well. So you have this kind of uh, life mixed with um, a very high-level academic profile. Uh, which which are which live side by side, and that's I think something that resembles uh, I, I would like I would dare to say the Oxford or Cambridge type of environment actually to some extent. Now this is doubled by a, a, a really really strong um, uh, academic environment. Uh, I mean not all schools are the same, but uh, in the case uh, that I know, which is psychology, you know we have a very very strong um, uh, academic team here. And so, when you have a really good mentoring in a really good environment, something magic happens. 
is that you're in the right place to do your studies and you develop extraordinarily well as a student. So I think the reason why um, uh, Bangor is a success story, or has been and, and it still is, I think is because it has been able to it's put the investment and, and the, the resources in place to bring together a very a top academic profile with a wonderful living environment, which is um, um, at the scale of the university rather than uh, the university being drowned into a big town. I think this combination uh, is really working very well. Can you tell us a little bit about your own research? Um, I'm a bit crazy, to be honest. I uh, tend to uh, venture uh, in many different places at once, and I, I, some, for some people uh, it will be not advisable. I mean, some, some scholars would argue that this is uh, the wrong way to manage uh, an academic career. But the problem I have is that I'm, I am, I'm passionate about research, actually, and I'm, I'm so passionate that I get excited every time we find a new question or a new method or a new project. And so I don't do the very painstaking progress through experiments that are piling up on one another, replicating uh, little things, uh, progressing, you know, at on step and so on. I, I tend to, um, I tend to venture on new territories every time I see them. As soon as I see something new, I just go for it. Um, so it, it's a bit, um, well, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. And, uh, and I think the students follow on that path, big time, which is very important. Because if you don't uh, do research with passion, well, just don't bother, because it's not worth it. So to any prospective postgraduate students watching this, um, in a nutshell, why choose Bangor? Well, it's quite easy to answer actually if I connect everything I've talked to you about so far. You know, the reason why people should come here is because we're passionate. In, in all the senses of the term, you know, we just love doing research and we do it well and in a fantastic environment. I mean, what, what else do you want? <laughs> you know, uh, so obviously it's the right place uh, because it's a small warm community that is um, academically extremely uh, sort of able and motivated and that does everything based on passion if you want.